It's aiming for potentially a top two spot, which would get them automatically into the final tomorrow evening. Kenyan interest, English interest. Some Lucia in there as well. Adrian Goldson of Jamaica will start in lane number nine. The 24-year-old, 20.74 seconds at his best, just outside 21 seconds to qualify for this semi-final. Udodi Onwuzariki, 20.08 at his best. Again, just outside 21 seconds to make the semi-final stage. Dwight St. Hilaire of Trinidad and Tobago, the ninth fastest overall to qualify. Fifth at the recent World Championships in the 4x400 meter relay. And let's listen to the roar. A huge reception. Adam Jamie of England goes in six in his third Commonwealth Games. A Samba of Kenya will start in lane number five. 4x100 African champion this year, 20.73. This season, SMA of Cameroon, the second fastest qualifier, 20.44 seconds. African silver medalist over this distance this year. Lee Wants of St. Lucia, the 31 year old, will start in lane number three. Again, just outside 21 seconds in this Commonwealth season. And Darian Skerritt of Antigua and Barbuda will start on the inside line in lane number two. 21-year-old making his Commonwealth Games debut here in Birmingham. So the first two guaranteed a place in tomorrow's final. Impressive running in the first semi-final from Zarnell Hughes. The current qualifiers by time. There you see them. Abbas of Pakistan leading the way with his third place finish at 20.89 seconds. Jamelian six, SMA of Cameroon, the fastest qualifier for this semi-final in lane four. So. so another clean start and a roar from the fans here in Birmingham, the Nigerian going well in lane number eight. Jamili for England moving nicely in six. SMA from Cameroon going nicely in four. Just the top two guaranteed a place in the final. And the Nigerian's going to get this one. England's Adam Jamili fades back to about fourth. And 20.59 seconds, just under the legal allowable limit in terms of wind. You're allowed plus 2.0, and it was a 1.9. There was three or four athletes, Tim, involved in that one when they were coming off the bend. But the speed endurance of the two that were really expected to qualify from that semi-final pulled through in the end. Yes, sir. Uh on Zurike of uh, Nigeria. Very powerful, big fella, isn't he? And uh, 2059, he's only a youngster. Gosh, has he got some development to come? He's 19 years old. Clearly capable of going below 20 seconds very soon, if not this season, then next season. A semi-100 finalist, we expected him to go well. Good running for him from uh, lane four. And Jamili, well, it's... Uh, He's fully, clearly not fully fit. There he is, fourth and left in the red and white of England. He is a sub-22nd man, 1997. He's done great things for Great Britain and in England Vest as well over the years, but he faded over the last 20, 30 metres, which used to be the strength of his running. Here he is in third place between the uh, first two, eventual first two. On Wuzurike on the outside there, rocking from side to side. Not the smoothest of sprinters, but my words, they cover the ground well. And uh, Eseme, very comfortable there in lane four. The rest of them quite some way back, Kat. Yep, there's the photo finish. On Wuzurike, though, the 19-year-old, coached by his father. Oh, I presume his dad won because the Nigerian won his semi-final here in Birmingham, 20.59 seconds. St. Hilaire of Trinidad and Tobago was third at 20.95. Here's confirmation then of that result. The two big cues for Nigeria and Cameroon. There's still Abbas of Pakistan with his 20.89. is leading the way. St. Hilaire, I don't think that's going to be good enough 